Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today's tool is all about selective color. Now selective color can really make your photo stand out. Now all selective color is, is selecting certain colors that we want selected and making the rest of the image black and white. So it really stands out uh, within the picture. So as you can see, this is the sort of thing that we're after and you can really create some diverse images with this. So I'm going to go and show you a few different ways that you can use this effect. So if we just look through them, here we go. And you can get a better understanding of the sort of things you can come up with. So these are a few nice images. And we're back with our original. And from here all we're going to do is we're going to go up to select we're going to go to color range and all we're going to do from here is we want to make sure that we have the selection preview to black matte so click that and we're going to go to localize color clusters click that and if we're only selecting a certain color so if we're only selecting blues, greens or reds, then we can go to the drop down menu and we'll see these colors right here. Now these are great if you're only selecting that particular color within this image. But if you're selecting a range of colors that we're going to do right here, so blue and yellow and whatever other color that we want, we're going to go to sampled colors. So from here we're going to go to the eyedropper tool to the plus symbol, click there and we're going to hold down shift on our keyboard. And all we're going to do is we're going to go and select these blues that we want within the image. And we're just going to go and select the yellows. Now this has done this uh, pretty much for me because I have done this already to this image. But you'll get the understanding that if we hold down shift, all we're going to do is we're going to sample colors within those blues. So within the blue, there is loads of different kinds of blue. So we're just going to go and select different ones. And they might come um, uh, come up with things that we don't want within the image. So, so if I add a few things that we don't want. So take it that we have this sort of thing within our image that we don't want. And all we're going to do is go to the eyedropper tool with the minus symbol. We don't need to hold down shift for this. And we're just going to go and click the certain things that we don't want within the image and just take them out and it's pretty easy and simple to get to grips with this nothing too hard so once we have done that we can play around with the fuzziness and the range now the range what that does is it homes in on what we have selected already so that we have selected this blue and it's kind of homed in at the moment so if we bring the range up what it's going to do is widen the field within the image and find other colors that are sort of similar so if we widen that as you can see on the bottom right hand side here it's come up with these other colors which are similar these are blue and yellow and it's widened the field so we're going to bring the range down but you really have to play around with this for your image and we're going to bring the fuzziness up and down and what this does is it gets a better selection of what we just made so we can play around with this so as I said if we bring it up it's sort of bringing in things that we don't want selected uh, but it's not bringing in similar colors so we're just going to bring that down but not too far because we don't want it to edit the what we have already selected and if we already if we just look at this little panel right here we'll see bright white and black now bright white means what we're going to have selected and the black means that we're not going to have it selected at all so this is what we want and we're just going to go and take a few bits out and we're going to go and press invert once we have made a great selection click OK and we're going to go down to the bottom right side, press adjustment layers, the little round circle with the black and white, click black and white and hide that panel and what this does is it's made the rest of the image black and white and it's only left our colors through. Now this is great but we have a few other colors come in with this that we need to take out and we can do this by going to our paintbrush tool, working with white make sure you have the masking layer clicked on which is on the adjustment layer 
and just paint the bits that we don't want so they go back to black and white and there we have it that's basically it that how easy and simple was that now there is a few other problems that we can come up with so if you're on a landscape so if I jump over to this other image we have the hot air balloons and if we was going to try that technique and select all the other colors like blue now it's going to go and select the blue in the sky as well which we don't want so we have to do it manually so to do this we can go and duplicate the image so control J or command J on your keyboard and then press control shift and U or command shift and U if you have a Mac and all we're going to do is we're going to go and make a masking layer onto this so bottom right hand side you see a little camera icon click that make sure you're working on the masking layer make sure you're working with black and make sure you have the brush tool selected with this we can zoom in and we can just paint in all the bits that we want in the image now this may take a bit longer to get to grips with but at least we can have that manual um, opportunity on just getting the sort of things that we want now if you want a better selection within this you can try your different selection uh, techniques so you can go and select your image instead of the masking layer or the underneath the image which is the original go and select your selection technique so your quick selection or your pen tool so I'm going to use the pen tool for this and we can zoom in and we can just go around this so it really depends on how good you are with with your selection processes so if I just go around it very quickly and I just take a big chunk of it and all we're going to do if we're using the pen tool right click we're just going to go make selection we're going to feather it by two click OK make sure we're on the masking layer make sure we have black as our foreground color go to edit fill and go to foreground color click OK control and D or command and D to deselect and as you can see it selected it and we have a better selection and it looks more detailed instead of just painting it in so there is a few different ways that you can play around with this go and have a lot of fun with this and create so many different kinds of images and let me know if you do need any help and that's pretty much it how easy and simple was that so go and play around and I'll see you in the next tutorial guys. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Go check out the website, go check out Google Plus and Facebook guys. Uh, there's loads of stuff on there for you to go and check out. And I'll see you next time guys. Bye for now.